it's M the Beginner Crafter. Welcome to another whip tube. Like I said last time, uh, the Amphrit rug has become a little too long to just maneuver it in front of the camera. That's why I'm kind of sitting on it uh, right now and it's sort of a background for everything else. Um, I haven't worked on it as much as I thought I would. Um, that's why uh, there isn't very much progress, but you can clearly see the green now um, that's happening as uh, background color, so that's nice. And also the pattern color has also changed, but in the last kind of row, uh, so you don't really see it yet, but it's getting... Uh, black a little bit more. It has another thread of black. Uh, so again, the difference in between the pattern color and the background color should be a bit more visible, a bit more contrasting, uh, so it will be easier to see um, the pattern later on when, when I'll be showing you um, everything. Right now, um, the, the rug is a bit of a square in shape, maybe slightly longer than wider, so that means we're getting into the rectangular shape that I would like, and I think I'm somewhere in the middle of the length, uh, at least I hope. Uh, that's more or less where it is, so um, still a long way to go, and I really hoped I would get there further, but um, it's not very bad. Uh, we're getting closer and closer all the time. Then another project that I have is my knitting project, uh, Bloom Between the Lines by uh, Kanadaj, or I think it's uh, Tammy Kanavan uh, as her name. And because there are already 20, I think, seven rows, you can start seeing uh, this kind of shaping here. Uh, it's better if you look at it a little bit from a perspective like that, <laughs> but even when it's lying flat, you can already see that it's not just straight lines. Uh, I mean, you do it in straight lines, but the pattern uh, looks a little different. So I'm very happy <laughs> that uh, I can actually see it happening. That's really great. Uh, as you can see, I have two lifelines already uh, in there to help me in case I lose a stitch or I make a mistake. Uh, and I'll be putting them more or less every six rows uh, so that I don't have to go back too far uh, with my stitching, but right now um, it works well. Um, yeah, it is um, complicated enough to be challenging still for me, but easy enough so that I don't get overwhelmed. Uh, I guess the, the biggest problem is the fact that it's just uh, a long piece. Um, it's almost 150 stitches, so it takes a while to uh, work the whole row. And also one thing I'm, I re I'm not very happy about is this um, spacing between some of the stitches where I have the stitch markers. I think after I've changed into those stitch markers, um, it is a little bit better. It's not... Uh, the gaps aren't as wide as they used to be. Um, but it's still not there yet. I hope with blocking it will uh, disappear or at least be very, very not <laughs> visible. Um, and I'll think about buying uh, a stitch markers that look kind of like uh, light bulbs. I've seen, for example, uh, Kuto Vakika uh, using them in her knitting projects. Um, and 
I remember I wasn't sure about using these because they are quite long and they um, are a bit difficult for me uh, because they are just too big <laughs> and and they I feel like they get in my way a little bit but I am getting used to using those and they are not such a big problem anymore um, so hopefully uh, those light bulbs even though they are longer um, they are very very thin so it is possible I won't really notice them as much but uh, this is still something I'll take under advisement for the future uh, but at the moment I'm really happy with the project and I think it's really, really beautiful um, you can find it on Raverly, uh, for example, um, just write Kanadach and, uh, or Bloom Between the Lines and you'll find the project. And uh, I think for even basic knitters, um, it's still a good project uh, because all you need to do is knit and purl and change colors and that's it. Uh, and you don't cut uh, the yarn when changing. Uh, you just put... Where is that? Uh, here. You just put the color behind, sort of, and, and up. So it's... You don't have to, like, constantly cut the yarn, uh, add the yarn, and then weave in. Uh, so I think uh, even beginner knitters, like me, I'm still a beginner knitter, um, can do it. Uh, after the, the scarf that I did um, some time ago, uh, that was much more difficult. It was just one color, um, but it had cables, uh, so I think this one is easier. Uh, but it's also pretty... Um, visual uh interesting visually and and still a little bit challenging uh anyway so i'm i'm getting better <laughs> at knitting uh almost every day i don't do it every day but almost every day and then cross stitching first uh miranda the main piece and here I've mostly worked again uh, this page. I'm uh, almost fully done with this row here. Uh, this this is more or less the end of the page. I also did a few rows in here and again some of the colors will finish here. That's why I'm not making these squares yet. I can't really show you what uh, Miranda looked like last time because instead of taking photos, I recorded a video and I can't really take... Uh, I mean, I guess I could learn how to uh, get stills from a video, but I just deleted the video when I saw that I don't have the photos. I'll try to take photos this time, remember about them, and then I'll come... I'll be able to show you the comparison between now and later on, but um, today I can't show you what Miranda looked like last time. Um, if you're really interested, you can see the previous video. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is the edge of the page. So I have a few rows here um, done on this page. I also put some stitches in here and in here and I think in here as well. So I am completing the previous um, pages as well so that they are not as uh, white in some areas. Um, but I'm also doing this page. I stitched almost 1500 stitches in those two weeks on Miranda. So that's quite uh, nice. And I'm almost at 30% um, of the whole piece. So um, close to one third of the picture, but still not there yet. Then 
mini marvelous garden and with mini marvelous garden i worked almost everywhere <laughs> although i haven't really put many stitches into it because only uh, 324 and they were mainly on this page but there were also a few on page two and on page three so especially this area um, is a little bit more filled but again i can't really show you the comparison uh because mini marvelous garden was also last time and instead of the photos i recorded a video <laughs> of them um So yeah, Mini Marvelous Garden didn't get much pro much of a progress. Um, I didn't feel like stitching on it very much. Um, so uh, this these two weeks, um, I think I only worked for worked at it for two days, and that was definitely enough for me. Um, I think it needs a break. Um, I mean, in general, I will be taking a break for a few days. I'm visiting some uh, family members, uh, so I won't be able to take everything with me. I think I'll only take an uh, amphorite with me to progress on it. Uh, but the rest of my projects will have a break from me, and I think I need a break from some of them as well. But... I worked again on Avarice because it had a month break, so it was time uh, to work on it as well. Although I only worked for um, a day on it, but I managed to put 461 stitches in it. So even though it was just one day, um, I got more stitches done. And I worked in this area mainly, so page three and that's basically what you can see that there is a difference i put a little bit of stitches somewhere in this area but there weren't that many so you can't really see the difference here um as much and it's just a bit of a progress i actually saw that i'm at 7.5 percent with uh avarice so it is a nice milestone, kind of, but to get to 10%, it's still a long way. Uh, I mean, I hope to get to 10% by the end of the year. That was the goal for Avarice. And I think it's still possible, because I've been working on Avarice for about 11 months now. So I need, like, a third of this time to get to 10%. So that would be around four months, and until the end of the year, there is more than four months. So I should be able to reach the goal of 10% uh, on uh, Avarice, but we'll see <laughs> if, if I actually get there. Uh, now it's a little bit more difficult. Um, there are a lot of dark uh, areas here. I think there aren't as many light uh, things like those diamonds because I think this is more or less where mm, the the lady's uh, hair and and face will show, uh, and I think she also has dark hair here as well. Um, so we'll see how that works. Uh, but I'm glad I, I returned to Avarice, uh, even though with almost 500 stitches, you don't really see as much of a progress um, as with, as in other pieces, because uh, in them 500 stitches makes a big difference. And my last project, uh, Black Work by Peppermint Purple. Um, I have finished May and almost all June. I think uh, there is one or two weeks in June to put to be put in here. Um, but I didn't do it because both squares use different colors. 
And uh, I knew that um, the thread here, both threads actually, I have longer pieces than are needed for the squares. So I'll wait until um, July fillers are done and then I can use those colors um, for more squares. And also, I've become a peppermint purple pal, <laughs> which means that um, I have a, an affiliate link and I leave it uh, in the comment box. And uh, every time you buy a pattern by uh, peppermint purple, I get a small commission that I can use, uh, for example, to buy uh, hair patterns. Um, the uh, stitch along is free. Uh, the basic version is free. Uh, you can buy uh, some companions with uh, more patterns for borders, for example. But also she has a lot of wonderful uh, patterns uh, that are, for example, connected to colors that she uses in a pattern. So there is like a study in pink, a study in pi uh, pistachio, um, there are patterns for, uh, I think, Christmas, um, Pride as well. Um, so lots of different categories. Uh, all of them are connected to black work, of course. And once I'm sure I've caught up with uh, at least half of the year, I think I'm going to purchase another pattern from her uh, to practice a bit more black work and do some other categories uh, because she has really nice patterns and uh, the last ones that I've been making uh, are also super interesting. Um, so I want to do more of it and she creates wonderful things. So if you want to practice black work, um, if, you look, uh, if you're looking for new patterns, um, consider using my affiliate link uh, to purchasing her patterns because they are really uh, pretty and creative but also uh, easy enough for even a beginner to make them. I think that's it for today. I haven't worked on anything else. Um, But also in the last two weeks, my channel had its fourth birthday. So thank you for keeping up with me, for staying with me, for joining me, for watching the videos. Um, it's really nice to have been able to make those videos for four years and um, have them being watched by other people and being interested in what I'm making. Uh, so thank you. For being here and if you like the video leave a thumbs up leave a comment also and if you haven't subscribed consider doing that um, thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time bye